Welcome back. Nayanig ang Philippine women's volleyball scene matapos ang surprise resignation ng national team coach na si Ramil De Jesus. Pinalitan siya ni Coach Shaq De Los Santos na kailangang ipagpatuloy ang paghahanda ng kupunan para sa Asian Games, ABC, Asia Cup at SEA Games next year dito sa Manila. Let's speak now to LVPI Vice President Sir Peter Kaiko as well as Volleyball Analyst Doc AJ Pareha. Doc AJ, Sir Peter, good evening sa inyo. Good evening, Anton. Alright, uh, I'll start with you, Sir Peter. Um, it was during the UAP season, towards the end of the UAP season, na lumabas ang balita na si Coach Ramil De Jesus na po ang magiging head coach ng National Women's Volleyball Team. But then, yes. sometime uh, after that, uh, nagulat ang karamihan nung uh, he stepped down at si Coach Shaq na ang uh, tumayo bilang bagong head coach ng National Women's Volleyball Team. Ano po ba ang dahilan kung bakit uh, nag-step down si Coach Ramil De Jesus? Uh, Anton, actually, he did not step down. Okay. Uh, at first kasi, parang informal pa. He was feeling his way through. Tapos he held two tryouts. Yes. Then uh, after which, he informed us through one of his assistants that they could no longer continue with the team because of commitment. Okay. Uh, whatever other reasons he may have, I, I have to respect that. Mm. So we had to move on, so we had to get a new coach. Okay. And uh, I'm thankful naman to Coach Ramil na maaga pa informed us na. Okay. So tama po ba na Coach Ramil only had those two days of tryouts? There was never any practice? Uh, no more. Kasi uh, after the two tryouts, there was the championships of the UAP, the PSL. So we had to put it on hold muna. Okay. All right. Now, after Coach Ramil De Jesus, it was Coach Shaq De Los Santos. Lumabas po yung balita na si Coach Shaq na po ang uh, tatayo bilang head coach ng National Women's Volleyball Team. How did that come about? Paano po napili si Coach Shaq to be the new head okay. coach? Within the LVPI, we have three directors handling the uh, national team affairs. And they met right away when uh, we got word that Coach Ramil could not commit to uh, his schedules, uh, I think, are in conflict. Now, they met, and it was a unanimous decision that we get uh, Coach Shaq. Then we got one from the NCAA as his assistant and one from the UAAP. Okay, and uh, of course, these are uh, Coach Brian Esquibel and Coach Emilio Kung Fureas. Is that right, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, um, nagkaroon na po ng ilang tryouts. Under Coach Shaq De Los Santos. Actually, we, I mean, we, our hands were tied because after the tryouts of Coach Ramil, the Asian Games Organizing Committee required us to submit entry by numbers. Okay. So we had to submit the names of the 24 girls in the line, in his pool of players. We could not add anymore. So the 12 players would come from the pool of 24. Okay. All right. Uh, sa ngayon po, nag sayo po ba ang uh, women's volleyball team under Coach Shaq? Is there a regular yes. practice happening? Yes. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Adeliano University Gym in Legarda. Ah, and the 24 players na kasama po sa listahan na isinabit nyo, nag sayo po as much as possible? Yes. Okay. yes, yes. Some of them, like, for example, they have games. Or they just came from a big game. Okay. They attend and they skip practice, but they're there. They sit down and uh, watch the practice. Okay. So as much as possible, uh, regular po itong uh, three times a week na pag ensayo in preparation for the upcoming international tournaments. Yes, yes. All right. That's good to know, sir. And Sir Peter, uh, lumabas din po ang balita na si Abi Maranyo na daw po ang magiging kapitana ng national team um, when, did this, when did this decision come about and how did you arrive at that conclusion uh, na si Abi na ang magiging kapitana? About uh, sometime last week, we met again uh, with the coaches. Uh, we wanted someone who was mature and could handle the pressure. So okay. I think everybody agreed that it was Abi Marani. All right. Uh, LVPI Vice President Sir Peter Kaiko. Sir Peter, happy Independence Day sa'yo and uh, good evening. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you, thank you, Anton. All right, sir, I will see you soon.
Uh, now we also have Doc AJ Pareja, former UAAP men's volleyball MVP on the line. Doc AJ, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, thank you very much, Doc. Uh, yeah. What about you? What are your thoughts on the latest developments? Uh, I'm sure you're pleased to know na meron ng regular practice ang ating national team in preparation for all these upcoming tournaments. Yeah, it's good to know that at least there's regular practice because as you all know naman, based on history, whenever there's a big international event coming up, like in this case, SEA Games, usually, di ba, ang nangyayari dyan, parang months, parang three months, two months before lang na organize yung team and like, start ng practice. Well, at least now, it's good to know that we have enough time to prepare for, kasi major event yung SEA Games for next year, kasi tayo ang host, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. All right. Uh, what is your reaction on Abi Marano being named the team captain of the team? Well, I couldn't agree more because, uh, as we all know, Abi naman is a very um, multi-talented and multi-awarded athlete in terms of volleyball, and she represents the volleyball community well. And yun nga, uh, being the captain, at least she has enough maturity para mapasunod niya yung team. All right, uh, Doc AJ, I'm I'm going to ask you a, a little bit of a tough question here because I'm sure all okay. the fans are excited. So, binanggit nga ni Sir Peter na he submitted 24 uh, names para okay. sa lineup, but this is going to be trimmed uh -huh. down to 12. Any initial okay. thoughts on who you'd like to see on the national team uh, as of the moment, Doc? Yeah, for Siguro, let's start with the middle kasi si Abby na yung captain so she, she's gonna be a good middle. Siguro, magandang opposite sa kanya is uh, as the second middle, I'm gonna go with Madi Madayag. Okay. Because she, she also has the height and the agility to run. Kasi magaling, magaling din sa mga slide attack si Madi eh. mm. Then when it comes to opposite, I'm still gonna stand by my uh, belief that Jaja Santiago is better off in the opposite position rather than the middle. Okay. Tapos, uh, for setter, shoe in na for, for me, si Kim Fajardo and I'd go with Gia Morado who can also run very quick plays to the open and to the back. Okay. Tapos, so open, of course, uh, given agency Eliza Valdez, and I'd go with a second open, of course, the best scorer, si Cherry Rondina, even if for her, kasi height is not a liability, especially when it comes, pag ang pag handam pa natin is yung regional pa lang naman na Asian. Alright, uh, what about Libero? Who, who do you think, uh, who do you, who'd you like to see in uh, Pilipinas uniform? Uh, for Libero, I'd still bet my money on ano, uh, Pantone. Alright. What about Coach Shaq Pantone, De Los Santos? Uh, your reaction, uh, Doc AJ, on uh, the appointment of Coach Shaq as the national team head coach? Well, we all know si Coach Shaq, he wasn't much uh, active sa UAAP this past season, but he's been very active dun sa professional league. And I know na, na maganda naman yung achievements niya in the professional league. Siyempre, paglaban na nasa labas, it's not just collegiate players that he's handling. And with the experience that he's handling uh, more veteran players, I think it would be a good fit for him. But as we all know, no matter who the players are and the uh, coaches are, I think last year, diba, nagkaroon na rin tayo ng discussion on this with Commissioner Noreen, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, It's all about the program, really. Uh, no matter who you put in there, Basta merong continuous program na without any vested interest, dun lang talaga mag-kick off yung national team. Alright. Former UAP Volleyball MVP, Doc AJ Pareha. Doc AJ, thank you so much for the time and happy Independence Day to you. Hey everybody, this is Anton Rojas. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's ABS-CBN Sports and Action.